I'm very lucky to get a hold of this guy today. Good to see you, we'll P. We'll see you around, see you at the Open, and I'll see you at the Little Mo in December. I'll probably be there. Well, a lot of people have said a lot of things about you, Patrick McEnroe. But mm. I'm going to say mm, mm, all the good stuff. <laughs> okay, that let's I hope hear. so, right? <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. You're a man of your word. We're at Forest Hills, and you say, I'll see you at the Open. That's right. He saw me at the Open. You and John gave me time there. That's right. He said, I'll see you at Little Mo PGA, That's and right. you are here. It's getting in the McEnroe blood, Little Mo Tennis. Uh, What's it like to be part of the scene down here, Little Mo like? It's pretty awesome. It's, uh, they do an amazing job, and the kids all uh, have a blast. My daughter's having a great time. She's played a ton of matches. And uh, they treat all the kids with so much respect, and there's a lot of love here. And it's just great to see all the kids of all ages, meeting people from all over the world. Tremendous. You've done it as a player, so you know what tension's like out there right. as a player. You don't get any higher than this <laughs> tension, Davis Cup captain. Right. But now, the biggest tension of all is the one there's love involved, and your child's out there. What's that like in... Uh, well, what are you learning about it? Well, I'm learning it's a, it's a great game all over again. You know, it's a great game to learn. It's a great game to teach you about life and to teach you how to be a great sport, which uh, I'm very happy to say that my daughter is a great sport in addition to being an up-and-coming player. And that, to me, is the most important thing, to see her learning, to see her improving, uh, uh, and being a great sport. And sometimes it's uh, in difficult situations. So that's what tennis, I think, teaches everybody. And uh, it's nice to see the kids, you know, dealing with some conflict, dealing with some controversy, dealing with missing shots, uh, yeah. but also getting back out there and sort of moving on because, you know, that's what we have to do in life, right? Right, indeed. Yeah. The more I get to know about this guy, the more I love him. Oh, you're a good man, Kaz. And the more yeah. I respect him. <laughs> yeah. Moral value is high in the McEnroe family. I know that you and... Melissa attend weekly Catholic Mass. The mm -hmm. kids go there. Before you go there, some Sundays you're out at 6.30 getting a head <laughs> in there at right, tennis. Right. How important is that to raise the value of morality and families? Well, we try to uh, teach them the right things, and a lot of it, you know, they teach us a lot of things too, our children. I've learned a lot watching my daughter play tennis and listening to her you know the first thing I do when she finishes the match whether she wins or loses I give her a kiss and I wait for her to tell me what she thought about the match I never ask her about the match right away I always wait and I let her bring it up and sometimes she'll bring it up five minutes later sometimes she'll bring it up three hours later sometimes she'll bring it up the next day and uh, and uh, I think that's what it's all about you got to let them learn and let them experience it it's them out there you know I had my time and I had my time playing and competing my brother did, and now it's their time, and I think that's the message that uh, I'd like to give to the parents out there as well, because uh, you know, it, you do get involved, you do want to see your kid do well, you want to see him happy and uh, enjoying themselves, but at the end of the day, you know, life is not always that easy, so it's not easy out here on the tennis court, we know that. No, indeed. You know, I'm uh, on the courts walking around, I hear this voice, it's Patrick McEnroe, and I'm thinking the first time I heard that voice on the court was down in the Cayman Islands. Mm. You're doing oh, yeah. an exhibition right. with Jimmy yeah. Arias. We all spent three days right. together at, at the Ritz Carlton opening. Nice spot. Yeah. Nice spot <laughs> indeed. But you were giving back to the game the moment you hit your last pro ball. You've gotten to know America better than anybody else on the tennis scene. America has gotten to know you. You know the players. What do you get out of giving back to the game and growing American tennis well, at the same time. you know, we just try our best. I mean, tennis has given me my whole life and my livelihood, and I'm very appreciative of that. Um, and, and I said, it's a game. And uh, for the kids that are playing, you know, who knows what's going to happen, if they're going to play high school tennis, play college tennis, play pro tennis, whatever it is, tennis is a great game. And it teaches you a lot of things about life, and it's a fun game. It's active. And, uh, you know, I'm down here in Florida, and I see all the – older people out here you know you at the different they're all watch it now they're playing tennis they're playing a lot of tennis and that's awesome and that's that's what you love to see and now are we going to see murray one at the end of next year um i would say probably not uh, i would go back to djokovic but you know murray could do it there's no doubt he's been an amazing six months 
amazing career, but especially obviously the last six months. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. I mean, I'm looking forward to them battling. I'm looking forward to seeing Roger back. Hopefully, Ra I think Rafa is going to come back and have a good year. And some of the young players are starting to make their names and be legit threats. And uh, you know what? We've got a group of American players that are coming up for the first time in a while. So I think that's very exciting times for men's tennis. And I think some of the American boys are going to break through. 3 a.m. Australian Open. We'll, be there. we'll tune in with you there. Luckily, it'll we'll be 3M in Australia, but it'll be 3M back here, so keep watching. Yeah. Thanks Thank you, a lot. My friend. Oh. Okay. Tell me how much fun you have here at the Little Mo and why? I have a lot of fun because you meet kids from all over the world, which is a big opportunity, and that really doesn't happen all the time. So, yeah, and I like the Mo coins because in other tournaments, you don't really get a reward for being nice, so this kind of encourages you to be more nice than other tournaments do. Living legend. Lindsay Davenport, you've seen tennis all over the globe, all the venues. Now you're at the PGA, the Little Mo. What are you seeing the kids coming away from this event that maybe they don't get in others? Yeah, it's so interesting. My husband and I both went through the junior ranks of tennis, and we knew we wanted tennis still in our family and hoped that one of our children would want to play. But we also wanted it to be really fun. And I had a couple friends, Mary Jo Fernandez, one of them, Eve Short, another, that said, oh, you have to try the Little Mo. They're great tournaments, they're competitive, but they reward sportsmanship, they encourage the doubles and the mixed, and the kids have a great time. So uh, we looked at the calendar, we thought, okay, we're gonna do this, and it's been such a blast. I'm so happy that um, we discovered it, and and my son is playing them and we've made plans to play them all in 2017 and it's been just a blast and really that's what junior tennis is it can be competitive but let's have some fun as well you know jagger impressed a number of us on the court he's got some skill and the genes but uh, <laughs> but the skills there also but he also impressed me because i don't know why i ever asked him this but i did have you ever heard of the Little Moby? He told me this was the first Little Moby he's played. I asked him if he ever heard of it before. He said no, but I was reading the newspaper. He reads the newspaper? <laughs> he does. I don't know how, where he came from. He's a, he's a really uh, sweet boy, and he reads a lot. He's good good-hearted good-natured um, and we're thrilled he loves tennis you know he wakes up he wants to play tennis he can tell you what racket any pro plays with what they wear their results I mean he's so into it and for myself and my husband who love the sport more than anything it's like a dream come true so he's reading this newspaper and he says <laughs> Mom, Dad, take me yeah. to the little well, moat. And he actually said yes, that, did, did that? Well, I think he saw the trophy. I think <laughs> there was a picture was. of the trophy in there, and, and that, that is true. I think it was, I can't remember where it was, but he did show that I want to play. And I think at the time it was like seven or eight. We're like, oh, not yet, not yet. Now that he's nine, he's, uh, he's allowed to play. And again, it's been a blast. And um, I had played some events in my junior under the Marine Connolly Brinker Foundation, and it's amazing what they're doing for junior tennis always. You're in the booth, you're watching tennis. You're on the court, <laughs> winning slams. Now you're on the sideline watching your son mm. play. Jagger is out there. Where are you as he's playing? Yeah, I can't stand it. And so luckily, I also have three daughters. So whenever there's a tournament, I always kind of assume the role of, I'll watch the girls, I'll watch the girls. I honestly, it makes me so sick. And it's so funny because obviously being in the sport and my mom was an amazing calming presence, my whole career, juniors, pros, you name it. Um, but it is, it's pretty hard for me to watch. So my husband takes over that. I'm happy to be here in Florida and I'm not biting my nails too badly um, and enjoying it so um, but probably won't be around too much it's uh, I'll be with my girls doing something else uh, hey thanks for sharing all the, your joy and your love for tennis and your time tonight with us thank you thanks <laughs> John from a coaching perspective what does a junior player find here at the Little Mo well you've got all kinds of different games and there are a lot of great players from around the world it's fantastic for my son to see kids that played behind the baseline, kids that came forward like to play at the net, and some kids served very well, some kids just started the point, you had a lot of everything and everyone could play. That was what was exciting. You know, the, the kid impressed me. Jagger's a player, but he said he was the one who discovered the little mole. He was the one to ask to come here. He wants it, it, it appears. Were you surprised when he took the lead on that? Yeah, absolutely. He meets his little buddies that he plays in Southern California, and somebody mentioned it. And then he said, well, I want to explore that. And he said, let me let me hear more. Let me, let me learn about this. And we're just ecstatic that he loves the game, and he's eager to, to play every day and wants it. We still keep him in two sports, so we're not The other sport is? Football. 
So really? What position? He's a little quarterback. Whoa. And it's fantastic for him, and I help out, so it's fun for us as well. What a great experience. So he gets the team stuff, he gets the individual stuff. Then he goes out and plays mixed doubles with a Macarota boot. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a treat. You're spoiling him, aren't you? I think he's been spoiled for a long time. He doesn't know any better. We go to Wimbledon, he thinks he should be on the grass. <laughs> Jagger, what do you enjoy most about the Little Mo? Well, I'm enjoying that you get to play. <laughs> so if you lose in singles, you got doubles. And if you lose in doubles, you got mixed doubles. So you still got time to play in the tournament if you lose. Now, this is your first tournament, but I'm sure that you heard about some Little Mo stuff. Is it as good as you thought it would be, or even better? Well, I saw it in like a newspaper once, and I saw this guy standing with a huge trophy, and I told <laughs> myself, man, I want that. So, and then my mom said that there's a Little Mo in Florida, and I wanted to play it. <laughs> so she took me here, and it's super fun. Well, can we see you playing more Little Mo's? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm playing the one in California, and then I'm going to New York early to play in that one. Oh.